Hey YouTube, this is G-Man, and today I'm going to be uh, starting a YouTube series about how to make a PlayStation 2 portable. Because um, as we all know, there's not many PlayStation 2 portables made, and that's mostly because there's not a lot of information on making them. So I figured I'd make a, I would start a series and start something here. So the first episode is going to be about all the supplies and parts you're going to need. And tools, yeah. So the first and probably the most important tool is a soldering iron. This is a soldering station. It's got a soldering iron and a multimeter and a power supply all in one. You really don't need something that fancy, but I use it a lot and I like it. You can just use any cheap $10 soldering iron, really, for a beginner. And you're also going to need a multimeter, which is a tool that can do many things. My soldering station has one built in. It works really well. Second most important tool is the Dremel. You use this to uh, cut things. This is a Dremel 2000. I just got this at Home Depot for 50 bucks. And then you're also going to need some uh, Dremel cutting tools for it too. It's got sanding drums and stuff. This came with my Dremel. And then you're also going to need hot glue gun. This is a really destroyed hot glue gun. As you can see, it's kind of missing some plastic because it got hot glued to the table and then I ripped it off and the plastic broke. But you know, it still works. Whatever. And then when you're dremeling, there's going to be a plastic flying everywhere. So you're going to want safety goggles or else you're going to get plastic in your eyes and it's just annoying. So then next, you're just going to need some pliers. You don't know those pliers work. And some screwdrivers. This is a, a flathead screwdriver that I... Uh, Grind it on a on a grinding stone, so it's like it's a little sharp. I can just use this as a flathead, or I can use it to scrape stuff. It's a good tool. Then this is a Phillips head screwdriver. You you use this for uh, taking apart the PlayStation 2 and closing up your case. You're also going to need an exacto knife. This is a really sharp tool. Use it for a lot of case making and stuff. You're also going to need some scissors. You can use it to cut wires or just anything. And then you're also going to need some epoxy. This is a, an alternative to hot glue because it's stronger and it doesn't melt. So I like to use this. But hot glue is still good. And then super glue is also a good thing to have too. And you're going to want some solder for your soldering iron. This is a 0.5 millimeter solder. I think the, the thinner solder is easier to use. This is a desoldering braid. This is good to have. You can desolder components. There's also a desoldering pump or desoldering iron. I've used them for, and I personally like the soldering desoldering braid the best. You're gonna need a couple different types of wire. First, you're gonna need some thicker wire. This is a, I think, 22 gauge. You use this for power wires and stuff. And I got black and red, so that way I can easily tell the difference for power. And then I have this wire, it's a 30, 32 AWG wire. I pretty much use this wire for controller wiring or just anything that I don't use for power wire. I just got a big spool of 500 feet because I go through it so quickly. This wire is called a eyed wire. It's um, all neatly organized and you can just kind of, you can, you can uh, rip it in half so it keeps your things neat. I got this, this is really cheap, it's only 50 cents, I got this at a thrift store. You can get them online or at a computer store, they're really cheap. And then you're going to need some electrical tape, that's good to have so you don't uh, shore anything out. And then you're going to need a few different types of tack switches. First these are the uh, clicky tack switches, I got a whole bunch of them. They look like this, they're clicky. I use them for a, a few buttons, they're good. And then you're also going to need some uh, rubber tack switches. These are similar to the clicky ones except they're rubber and they feel just like the original controller because they have some more uh, give to it. And then you're, you're going to need some uh, spare piece of plastic. I, this is just a two millimeter thick um, styrene plastic. It's left over for some uh, vacuum forming I did. I just use this for plastic for uh, mounting things inside the case. It's good to have. And then you're going to need batteries. 
I recommend getting a 7.4 volt batteries, um, 5,000 amp or 5,000 mAh batteries. I got these from Battery Space. They're really good batteries, and they're quality. Cause uh, if you buy batteries online, if you buy them from Chinese sellers, the, um, a lot of them are gonna lie about the capacity. Battery Space does not lie about the capacity, and they're really good batteries, good quality. Then you're gonna need a ruler, metal ruler. It's got a uh, centimeters and inches. I prefer to use centimeters because it's just easier. And then I have this. It's a, a circle template. I use this for designing cases and stuff. And to go along with that, you're going to need a pencil and a Sharpie marker. For a case, you're going to be using a ZN45. You can get this at polycase.com. It's a, a big case. It'll be easy to use. And it's a good case. And you're also going to need a screen. This is a... Uh, a TFT monitor to backup camera. You can get these on eBay. Just search like a car reverse monitor. There's all different sizes. This is a 4.3 inch screen. It's pretty good. But I think I'm going to be using the 5 inch. But this is all I have to right now to show. Good screen. And then you're also going to need a controller. There's all different types of controllers. Make sure you get a DS2 controller. Because um, if you get a DS1, it's not going to be compatible with all the games. So this is just a, a third-party controller. I recommend not using the official controllers because the circuit boards are really weird. And um, if you get a third-party controller, it's most likely going to use like copper. Or it's it, it just better. The circuit boards are different. They're easy to wire up. So get that. Then you're also going to need a PlayStation 2 Slim. Make sure you get the... Uh, the 79,000 motherboard because uh, they are the smallest motherboard PlayStation 2 out there and it can run on 7.4 volts so make sure you get make sure it's a 79,000 series we're also going to need some speakers these are the I love speakers they're alright just any speakers will work probably I have a bunch of different types of speakers I'm not really sure if I'm going to use this exact one but I used it before and then, yeah, I think that's it. There's also some other tools you're going to need, but it's there's a, this is a good start. You really don't need to spend a lot of money. Maybe like a, I don't know, a PlayStation, any portable is going to cost around 200 to 300 It really depends on how much you want to put on it. And uh, batteries are the most expensive things. So these batteries, they cost around, uh, they're $8 a battery. But you can get cheaper batteries, but they're not going to be as good. Batteries are definitely the most expensive thing. So yeah, this is just the uh, the tools and the supplies you're going to need. Thanks for watching. And in part two, we're going to be going over how to make how to design and make the case. Thanks for watching, and subscribe.